Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logis Greenhouses, and today we're going to be talking about bananas, particularly one of our dwarf varieties called Dwarf Ladyfinger. Now, bananas are actually not trees, but they are members of the grass family and produce a trunk which is called a pseudostem. And although we think of them as banana trees, they are actually not trees, though many of them can get quite tall. This particular cultivar that we're growing is really a dwarf and it's probably the smallest growing banana that we found that will produce fruit. Now there are some smaller ones but most of them are used ornamentally as um, ground covers or as just for the foliage and for the plant. So this particular variety um, grows to about Oh, in a pot it'll grow to about four, four or five feet tall and a little bit bigger if you put it in the ground. And the bananas are very small. They're about as big as your finger, so they are a really a lady finger banana and quite delicious to eat. This here, what I have in my hand, is a young banana plant um, and it's ready to be repotted. So we can look at the root system, very healthy root system on that. It's an active growth. And you have to remember that bananas grow very fast, particularly under long days and warm temperatures. This particular uh, variety, and here I have a clone of our dwarf ladyfinger. This happened in our tissue culture lab, and it became variegated. So this is a sport or a genetic mutation. Um, eventually, we hope to have this for sale, but it has the most beautiful leaves to it, uh, white and green variegation. But it gives you an idea of what a young plant um, looks like. And this is a 14-inch pot, so um, from a little plant like this, it takes so oh, probably about six to eight months under good growing conditions here in the north to get there. And it's about a two year project to get from this um, to a flowering size banana. The banana actually starts out with a central lead like this, and then it grows up and each leaf puts a thicker stem on it, thicker stem. There's more leaves coming out that are creating this pseudo stem. And then an offshoot will start. And this is the next banana to grow. So what happens is, is as this plant grows, it'll finally get large enough that it'll go into flower. And this is really like a bulb. So there's a bulb underneath the ground here, a banana bulb, much like a tulip bulb. And at some point, and it happens very early on in the growing cycle, even as small as this, it will decide to flower. And that flower bud will emerge from the very base of that bulb and shoot right up to the top and come out of the top as a banana flower on which our hands of bananas form. So it's really important when growing these to give them maximum amount of light. They're a full sun plant and to be sure that your fertilizer and water is adequate during that initial growing stage. That's where your bananas will actually be created during that very young stage. And then, of course, as it grows on, you keep, keep feeding it and the plant gets larger and larger until um, fruit uh, flowering occurs. So here is a um, specimen or one of our mother plants of the dwarf ladyfinger. Um, you can see this is the flower spike on it. There's the young bananas forming up here. And Really, this is a very small hand of bananas. Normally, under very good growing conditions, this would produce maybe three times as many bananas. This particular house is pretty shady. This is really what we call our um, fern house, so the light level's low. Although it does grow a beautiful banana plant, as you can see the leaves are lush and so on, um, the fruit production is reduced mainly because of the lower light conditions. And the remaining, uh, this is the flower stem as it comes out. These are all, um, male flowers that form down, and this will keep draping down as time goes on, but no more bananas form. So it's the female flowers that come out first that create the, um, the, the fruit that we eat. And one of the things that we see when a banana first begins to go into the fruiting cycle is throw out this leaf. You can look at this kind of funny little short leaf here. That's an indication that um, we are actually going into fruit. And back down here, you can see the pseudobulb on this. With, um, with some other younger ones. There's one right next to it here, and there's some younger ones. Once this is done and we've harvested the fruit off of it, this is cut off, and then these um, younger shoots, or this one right here, would be allowed to grow and would be the next cycle of fruiting. So thank you for watching today. Um, there's a little bit of information on how to grow our dwarf ladyfinger banana. If you would like any more information, you can go to logis.com.